Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of a graphic, I guess, for a baby's first trip. And I wasn't going to do it. I, I, he wants to cut this out of wood, and um, it just seemed so easy. But then I thought, you know, there's a few graphics and some ideas that I would have, so I've done it. I didn't put the signs on it. I did not have to put the airplane, but that's pretty easy. Uh, he's got little signs going, uh, Cameroon, St. Louis, Seattle, and Kansas, which is kind of ironic because they're going the opposite direction. But uh, So I thought, I'm just going to show how to draw this and some of my ideas. And um, I would actually have this piece separate of the other pieces uh, just so you could paint it and put that on there. So what we're going to do, we're just going to draw it. So we need to start with an ellipse. And then we need to start with, a, if you're going to do this identical to this, start down here at this corner and go upwardly and kind of have it like that. Go up to a range and convert it to a curve. By doing that, you can get this right here and we can kind of give it a tilt like that does. Now we need to actually put another box at the bottom. And I'm going to start right here and go outwardly and go like right there. Now I need to take a three-point line. And I'm going to go from there to about there. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that because that's not how I did it. So I was just thinking what I'm going to do now is take this ellipse. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by holding down the shift key, have it grow from the inside. But I need this at the bottom, so I'm going to get the four-sided cross. Then I'm going to take this, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Now, while holding down the shift key, I'm going to grow it outwardly. That's going to be our space and then control D and that's going to be our writing area. So I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger. And you, and you, he can, whoever's doing this can do it the way they want to do it. Now I'm going to take out the ellipse just so I won't mess anything up and you know, even though I'm not perfect there, I'm going to, uh, because this is a shape tool, I can do that right there because the, the uh, curve doesn't continue. Then I'm going to get the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete. No, I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to delete the inside of the circles, the outside of the circle, that. I don't want this on the bottom. I don't want that on the bottom. I want this to be one piece. And I want this to be one piece. I'm going to cut that off. So what I'm doing is I'm making that arch that the globe is going to set in, as you can see. Now, I would strongly suggest, um, I've got a double line up here, I see. And you just be a little bit more careful when you do it than I did. Because uh, this is going to be all one piece of wood. So we need to cut that right there. So this is just going to be cut out and painted. This would be really easy to paint. Just uh, use masking tape and paint that blue and this that brown. But we need to uh, do the text for path first. And I'm going to try to make a duplicate of this and move it over. And you see, I just got the outside, which is perfect. That's what we want. Now I'm going to go ahead and mimic this, what I did earlier. Good kind of... It's kind of a good trip. I'm going to go uh, all caps. But I'm going to go in and now not cap. And I'm going to go first. And I'm sorry I'm uh, typing so big. Uh, adventure. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my text tool. And this is one reason I decided to make the video. Highlight that text with your text tool. So all I did was get the text tool and just highlight it. And we're going to change it to another font. And then I can actually change it and make it like 50 points instead of 100. Now, I can move it around later if I want. But we need to make the whole thing quite a bit smaller. And we're going to go right here. And first, before I ever do anything, I make this sure... And you see my path is going backwards. I need to go downward or 
left to right. So I'm going to double click on it or click on it and reverse up pass to get the arrows going that way. Then I'm going to grab this name and I'm going to go text, text to path, and I'm going to put it on that path. Now, once we get it over here, we can select it all and do that right there. But I don't want it. I want it in the middle of that. So we've still got it selected. I'm going to go uphill a little bit. And just like I did a video the other day, so that's too much, but you can type in 0 0.07 and put it about right there. Now we can actually go and go arrange and break the text apart and grab, go ahead and do it again, break the text apart, grab all this and just minutely move it to the center. So that's kind of done. And then you'll just color that in. Oh, I didn't make a mistake. I took away that part, but that could be, I just deleted it. It could have been uh, done at the very first. And that's personal preference. You could always fix stuff like that by just getting the rectangle tool and just take your tool and make it, make that shape. Now, what we are going to do, we're going to color this in just a second, but I'm going to, I'm going to take the text and move it out of the way. And I am going to add a, a line just for temporarily from there up and from here down. Now I'm going to go ahead and color it in with the, the uh, smart fill tool. And I'm going to grab my eyedropper and I'm going to grab that blue and I'm going to color that in. I'm going to go to my eyedropper, get my eyedropper, get that color and color it in. Now I'm going to take away, but you don't want to take away that line because you're going to want to cut that. But now we can take this and move it over, go up to arrange order front of page and there you go. Now the only other thing we have to do is get this to kind of look like that globe. And this is something you could paint and then score this very light. And I'm making it two parts. Uh, this is going to be completely separate of the other part just because it'll be easier to paint. So we're gonna take a two point line and I'm not gonna go from the center, I'm gonna go outwardly a little bit and then I'm gonna hold down the control button. Well, I didn't, I didn't use the three point curve line. I want my three point curve line. I don't have to go from the center to center, but I hold down the control button and kind of get it like right there. Get the plus key in your keyboard, keyboard and mirror it. And then put that like right there, kind of the same distance. Grab both of them by shift, selecting them both, holding down the shift key, going up to effects and blend. And we're going to blend them, I'm just going to say 10 times. And you get that effect. Now you would think you could just do the other opposite, but you can't. It's a little bit different. So we're going to break the four objects apart and try to get our ellipse back. Now on this, they're more like little bitty, uh, not so much curved lines. You know, where these are all going north and south, these are going around. And they, whoever did this did a great job. I could, you could take a little bit more time and get that perfect. Cause that kind of, well, when you add it back, it'll look like a circle. But on this, I'm just going to take a, you could actually use a, um, an ellipse to do this. I'm going to go from right there, right there. And I'm just going to give a little bit of a kick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this all, get back to the pick tool. And I'm going to move this up. And then I'm going to hit the plus key and move it down. Now I'm going to shift select both these and I'm going to go blend. Now move your ellipse out of the way. Take this. And I'm going to go to arrange and break the blend apart. I'm going to go to arrange and group it together. And then I can just go like right here and I can go either back minus front or front minus back. And I got it right the first time. Then we can do this right here and we have a globe kind of. I might not have enough curve on those bottom ones, but you could put a little bit more curve to it. Now, if you notice there's a actually a picture of the globe behind there. So I'm going to go in and make these black before I forget them and uh, make a black line. And this was something maybe you could do with hairlines and just kind of score that. 
we're going to bring this in. I actually need that outer line again. So let's see if we can still grab it and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to have to ungroup, break the curve apart, basically. And I'm going to move this up. Whoop. So that's not going to work. So once you've done this and you go, uh-oh, I, I don't have the shape of that circle anymore. Well, it's it's 1.658. 6, so you could draw another ellipse and go, well, look how close I got, 1.658. So now we have the same ellipse, and we could go right here to the center and snap it to it. And what we could do is go EC, and it'll put it right on it. It should be the last thing selected. So let's now let's see if we can't grab our ellipse and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and put these two back together and group them together. And now I'm going to take this part of the earth and, and remember never, don't ever move anything. And I think this guy's kind of maybe in this part of the country. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to intersect and I got just that part of the globe. Now this is, Kind of just the opposite. He's got a lot of ocean and, and land um, on here. But what I do like about the intersect tool, you know what? I'm going to make this. I need to get these things closer to my drawing. Um, it's just a pale brown and blue. But if we take our item right here and we make the whole thing uh, with the smart fill tool, that pill, uh, that didn't work because that's an intersect. Uh, we're going to make it a pale blue. So we're going to get, we'll use that same blue that's there. Same blue that's there and put it there. Whoop, I'm still on brown. Get the eyedropper tool and take a, and there we go. Now I can take this and I'm going to go ahead and go to range order front of page and put it over there. And you can see the white is covering up. So that didn't work. So let's try this. Let's just get rid of that. And let's, let's take this and let's left click, left click. Well. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what I did not do? I did not trace that as a bitmap. So let's trace it right now. I needed to trace that whole thing as a bitmap. So I, oh, that's terrible. So what we're going to do, we're going to disallow all this and we're going to trace this. Outline trace clip art. There we go. That's what I did wrong because I did not be able to do this. And this is what we need. And you could pick a better. Now, remember, I have not moved anything. So I'm going to nudge this, but move this back over and I'm not I don't really know where this person's from but it wasn't the United States anyway and I'm going to take that light blue and put it there and there and maybe there don't worry about everything and then I'm going to take a light tan that well you know what I need to do I need to go back to that original picture I'm way, way far away from it, but that's fine for a second. Get the, uh, now my color eyedropper is going to be in the way. Um, get that light tan and let's zoom in here. I'm not doing a very good job. Uh, let's zoom in here and should have still that light tan and just make that tan. Now we can nudge these colors out of the way and we don't really want the outline anyway. I'm going to call that good. So I'm going to group it together and I don't need this blue one anymore. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go over to my world map and I am going to see, I didn't color them all in. I'm going to go to range order back of page and I'm, for if somebody's watching, I just did a video last night on making a hotkey for doing that. And so you could paint this separate and look at that. Now, 
we need to take this, go to arrange, order, back a page. And that's what it's going to kind of look like. Now, I don't, in this picture, I do, I have no clue what these are, if they're clay grapes or balloons or, you know, I don't have to show him how to make this. This is something you could stick to it. I don't have the airplane, but you could add an airplane and you could actually add a draw, uh, lines. I can't, I can't really tell uh, worldly where that actually is. But you could, you know, if, if you don't think it stands out enough, uh, let's take this and move it out of the way. Take this and move it out of the way. And let's take this and add an outline to it. And what that did, that's going to make it a little more uh, maybe legible. Yes, it does for sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad I kind of did this at first. I uh, questioned, you know, to me, this would be so easy. Uh, but I've been doing Corel a long time and I thought well, I can show off that and show off some other things and how to do the text of path and change it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.